Hello everybody, welcome back to Portal 2. This is episode 2 of Portal 2. And uh, that's what we're doing. So, yeah, just enjoy this animation of me falling. Oh, okay, and we are on the ground. Yeah, the incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old time. I actually tried setting up my Xbox 360 controller, but it wasn't working for some reason, so we're just gonna go with mouse and keyboard. Just continue with that, yeah. There it is. Oh look, portal gun. There. Thank you. Good. You have a dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Yay, I love talking with you, GLaDOS. Here, let me get that for you. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. I'll just move that out of the way for you. This place really is a wreck. But the important thing is you're back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing for the rest of your life. After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. All right, let's go do some tests, guys. Hopefully we won't get stuck on any of them. Yeah, I tried setting up the Xbox 360 controller. Uh, for some reason, it just wasn't working. I don't know why. Not sure. Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Uh, okay. Where are the lasers? Oh, there it is. Thank you. And... Thank you. <laughs> uh... Oh, wait, I need to get up there first. No. How do I get over there? Oh, I can just walk over here. Can I stand here? Yes, I can. There we go, and bam, bam. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. Hmm. Okay. Let's go. Oh, wait a minute. I think I just figured out why the Xbox 360 thing wasn't working. I don't think it can be used in the menu. Maybe I need to start it with my mouse, start the game, and then play it with the controller. Maybe that's it. Um, I'll do that next episode, or like my next play session, which I don't know when that will be. But This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. Oh no, this is the one where you can catch Wheatley. Oh god! No! I wanted to catch Wheatley. You can actually... What you can do in this level is like when Wheatley's over there, 
you can go over there and like catch him and hold him. It's like a little Easter egg kind of thing. But unfortunately, I wasn't quick enough. Whoa. What the hell? Uh, what do I do here now? Oh, I see. I just do this. Hold on. Well done. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. Okay. Cool. <laughs> loading, 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 loading. Aperture Laboratories. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. That doesn't... why would that make me feel better? Like, how... how would that make me feel better? I don't understand. Oh, there's one up there. I assume... Hey, This one goes here. And then... This one... Goes... There? Congratulations. Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. <laughs> This game is awesome. This game is just so funny. GLaDOS is the best. One moment. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. Hello, camera. We meet again. Uh. Okay. Oh, hold on. Hold on, I need to do it from here though, right? Oh, I just need to- oh, I do that. Okay. Bam. I use this as a shield. There we go. I'll give you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Hey, I I'll solved it fast. And we'll continue the testing. I did it fairly quickly. I don't know what you're, what you're talking about. GLaDOS. There's a lot of loading screens in this game. There weren't this many loading screens in the first game. Actually, that might be incorrect. There might have been. Okay. Oh, look, turrets. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faith Plate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Okay. We. Oh, I see. Yay, I caught it. Sweet. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. Yeah, it's very interesting. Uh, I'll never get to even breathe the outside world air rather than... 
then not even see it. Like, at least I could breathe the outside air, maybe. But no, you just want to, you know, maybe they've invented airborne communication. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faceplates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. I love this test. This is one of my favorite tests in the game. This test is actually super duper fun. You ready for this, guys? Oh no, I missed. Got it. Awesome. Woo! Oh yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers, so sometimes there's still trash in them. Standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. Alright, let's catch the dog the garbage hurtling towards us, shall we? As a safety cube. To test with the garbage. It's garbage. Yeah, but it'll press work, won't it? Again. I don't need to press the button again. If I want to use this, I can use this. Please work. Okay, it didn't work. I guess I'll press the button again, huh? Oh, turret. There you go. Here comes QB. Oh, crap. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, QB. Alright, come on, QB. Let's go. We. This game is like so awesome. Bam. Okay, now let's uh, let's try and do this here. Please. Yay! <laughs> Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. I am not garbage, GLaDOS. You're garbage. So I just gotta take a sip of my iced tea here. Did you know that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? I'm sorry, I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. I love that part so much. <laughs> oh my god, is that what I think it is? It's been so long! Companion Cube! I love you. I love you so much. I love you. Uh, oh no! Accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the test. I'm sorry. Go ahead and grab another one. Okay. Where is it? I love you too. You're my favorite. I love you so much. No, no. I fizzled that one too. Oh well, we have warehouses <laughs> full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. <laughs> oh, look, another one. I love you so much. Okay. Hey, Wheatley, what up? Okay, that's cool. Whatever. Oh, hold on. Let me just... Okay, there we go. I'll come back for you, Companion Cube. I'll come back for you. What's this? I don't know what that's for, but... Okay. Oh, wait, I think I know what it's for. Okay, so let's do that on. Oh, crap. Shoot! What is happening? What is going on here? What the, the crap? No. 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 Okay, anyways. Let's put one right there. And drop you inside it. And there you go. Off you go. And now I will go too. So it gets on the button.
Uh, okay. Hey, these things appear to be broken! How funny! Wouldn't want us to take a companion cube with us, that's for sure. Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you. Uh, I'll, I'm not taking anything with me. Nothing at all. Why would you think that? Oh no! I think that one was about to say, I love you. They are sentient, of course. We just have a lot of them. <laughs> you were my only love, Companion Cube. My only love. Just take a little sip of my iced tea. Gotta have a lot, a lot of iced tea after a breakup. It's very harsh. Oh. What button did I just hit? F? G? What did I just hit? What button did I do? Oh, that. This next test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. Oh, yes, you did. I remember that. Remember that test very well. Whoa. What the hell? The turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. There. If you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. Okay. That was pretty easy, I must say. Huh, I see. Okay. Man, this iced tea is actually very delicious. It's like citrus flavored. It's pretty good. I do enjoy iced tea. <gasps> We're on to chapter three now. How interesting. Should we end the episode here? Uh, I think we actually might. Yeah, I think we're going to end the episode here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then leave it a like if you would like to see more Portal 2 videos in the future. Then subscribe. Or just subscribe anyway. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!